this is where our adventure today takes us. So they call this place Silvertown. It's now known as Corriganville after the movie ranch owner Ray Corrigan. So Silvertown was sort of an amusement uh, park place that rivaled Knott's Berry Farm for its western depictions and it was also a place that they filmed western movies. So we're walking around Silvertown or what's Corriganville. Of the foundations of it. Or what's left of it like Lex said. Unfortunately, uh, this place didn't have enough people going to it anymore, so they just um, let it go, and this is what's left of it. But from what I understand, back in the 60s, it used to be a thriving western town. Um, it had gunfight shows, it had stores, it had wonderful buildings that show the Old West, but this is what's left of it. And like Lex said, nature is starting to take over. But it's beautiful nature. Maybe it was a lizard. Either that or a bird. What's this? Oh, it's a foundation. Okay. He's trying to get up there. Trying. Took two times. <laughs> I know there used to be a lot of people that would come here um, and would see all the attractions and everything. Unfortunately, yeah. I mean, it's all gone. So it was almost like the way Universal Studios is now, where it was both right. an amusement park and a working set. Or like a Knott's Berry Farm. Yeah. Yeah. Now, what are these blocks over here? It looks like almost like a Stonehenge arrangement, like blocks in a circular pattern. I want to see what that's all about. Okay, so here we are. And there are these stone walls. Um, not sure exactly what this used to be, but definitely another foundation for a building. They used to be here and would be entertaining for the people who visited. What's over there, Lex? Well, some of the corners, like there and here, it's like, it used to be some kind of, I think, a water fountain or something like that. Oh. I can see a little bit of uh, old, really old uh, plumbing here. It doesn't work anymore, it's just dried leaves inside the sink. But there was some kind of uh, plumbing water set up. Oh, yeah, you're right. But oh. nothing there now. Just Except um, some uh, dirt and leaves. I have to be careful where I walk because there's a lot of holes down here and there's a bunch of fire ants and I don't want them biting me. <laughs> oh, 
Well, we've discovered the mystery of Stonehenge here. These were stables. Uh, this was, uh, they were, of course, filming the movies here during the 40s through the 60s. But this was the barn where they kept the horses. Nice. There's a little bird here. What are you looking for, little guy? He yeah. Wants food. Oh, he's coming towards us. Aw. <laughs> I wish we had some food for you. Sorry. And there he goes. There's one of those ants. Ooh. So me and Lex are going up another pathway. Um, higher level. And this is the view of where we came from. Right there. There are the stables. And here are those pesky ants. Yeah. So this looks like it used to be a road, probably to drive all the movie equipment up into the hills to do some more uh, movie shooting. Sorry, it's a little bit windy here. is getting really faded. Well, I guess this place here was called Vendetta Village. Um, it said it was the first main set on the ranch built for the production of Howard Hughes's film Vendetta, which was filmed in 1946. And this is where it was filmed, right here. Here's a better view of what Vendetta Village used to look like. Wow, different, isn't it? Top of the world, Ma! Top of the world! The broken up remnants of the main road. All gone. Okay, this is a place where Gene Autry had starred in Fort Apache. And that was a movie that was, I believe, Done by John Ford. Actually, yeah, it looks like uh, Indian Territory is the picture that Gene Autry was in. Oh, okay. Uh, Fort Apache, yeah, John Ford did it and John Wayne starred in it. Oh, sorry. Yeah, it's really hard to read some of these signs. Yeah, they've been fading over many, many years out in the sun here. Oh, not too hot today, though. It no, breezy. it's really nice and breezy. Oh, there's a cave there. Ooh, Let's yeah. go see what that's about. Watch out for those ants. Whoa, yeah. Yeah. But this is like a little hideout here. Can you get in there? <laughs> Alright. 
feels well protected. This seems to be the end of Corrigan Bill. Here we have the Rocky Wilderness. And over here, Suburbia. Wilderness? Suburbia. Okay, roadblock. I don't think we're supposed to be going here, but Neek has already gone up that way. What could be there? There she is. What'd you find, Neek? Let's take a look. That's the end of the road for us. And this is the view up by the water tower. There's the rest of Corrigan Villa down below us. And there's the Stonehenge stable so far away now. Got a choice. Left or right. I say let's go left. These are some of the flowers on the road as we walk on by. color of these stones. Nice painted rocks, naturally. I think this is the end of the road for us. Two big blocks blocking our road here. Time to head back to civilization. The little lizard tried to run away from us. <laughs>